month, I'm about to start radiation therapy for breast cancer. I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer six months ago. I've already been through two surgeries. I just finished my last chemo infusion two weeks ago. I'm actually going to get proton therapy, which is different than photon therapy. Both proton and photon therapies are different versions of radiation therapy. The traditional version is photon therapy. Photon therapy, being that my cancer is on the left side, the traditional radiation will go through my chest cavity, penetrate that into the surrounding tissue around my breast. It potentially will scar my lungs and my heart. So luckily, I live near a proton therapy center and I was given the option of doing proton therapy. There are only a limited amount of proton therapy sites in the U.S. Photon and proton therapy, my plan for radiation was going to be the same. Five weeks of whole breast radiation everywhere from up here down and into including the axilla area because I had a lymph node that had cancer. This is five days a week. And then the sixth week, I just get targeted where they just target where the tumor was, which is basically right here. I had two little tumors and then one in my armpit. So either way, six weeks sounded like a long time. When my radiation oncologist told me that there was an option for a clinical trial that's being run in a few states, what the clinical trial is trying to figure out is, can we do a shorter course of radiation in a more compressed time? I would get the same amount of radiation as I would get in five weeks, but I would get it over the three weeks. The purpose of this trial is to compare how your skin and your tissue will react and if the comparison will be not worse than getting the regular five weeks. In the clinical trial, there are two arms that they randomize you to. And what that means is that the computer chooses which arm you sign up for. You sign up for the trial and there's no guarantee you're gonna get the shorter arm. You could just go on your traditional arm as a comparison. I was lucky enough to sign up and get randomized to the shorter arm, which I wanted. So this is a stage three trial, which means that there are other studies before this and they've been looking at different things like efficacy, dosage, and so that's all been worked out because we're at stage three. Other countries are already doing this shorter protocol. There has already been other studies out there comparing the shorter course and efficacy. Does it still give you the same benefits as far as recurrent uh, survival rates? There is already some data out there that you can look at because other countries in Asia and Europe are already using a shorter protocol. And my oncologist said at this cancer center I'm at, I'm going to be changing things and making their course to short. So I went and looked online and I Googled other studies to see if there was comparison, if it really was any different between outcome. I chose to do this because there it's negligible. This is where the science is going. I'm willing to take the risk to do the shorter course. Let me know if you have any questions about this and I'm happy to answer. And I have still haven't gone through the CT stimulation. So we're going to find out more about that hopefully this week.